I'm WSA 9, WeatherWatch meteorologist Topper Shutt. We are tracking Fiona. Uh, forecast to become a Category 4 now. Category 3 would be our, our first major hurricane uh, of the season. The one thing we look at are water temperatures, sea surface temperatures. Okay, how warm is the water? That's what it needs. That's its energy. It's food. Uh, it's pretty toasty. Uh, water temperature 85 just north of the Dominican Republic. And even on its way to Bermuda, water temperature even hotter, 86. So it has plenty of fuel, so to speak. Right now, we don't see any kind of upper air wind shearing it off. So there's no reason why this thing can't really intensify. And the National Hurricane Set Center says it will. It could have winds up to 140 uh, by Thursday night. All right, so that's one thing we look at. Wave height. You can see this is where the concentrated big waves are. And we'll kind of zoom in and, and talk about one. 30-foot waves now uh, just to the north of the Caicos, uh, Turks and Caicos. So it's producing some pretty big waves. And as it moves further north, and intensifies. These waves could get bigger, probably 35 feet uh, possibly. But good news is they're again in the middle of the ocean. Bad news though, it's headed toward Bermuda uh, late Thursday night, early, early Friday. So clearly defined eye now as it pulls northward. So we're, you know, we're seeing just a couple of leftover bands down toward the Dominican Republic, but for the most part, the storm is now pulled away from Puerto Rico and also from the, the Dominican Republic and pulling away uh, from parts of the Caicos and uh, Turks and Caicos. Now, this is the spaghetti plot. Again, each line is a computer model, and they're in pretty good agreement. They're pretty close together. Most of them take the storm west of Bermuda. A couple of outliers. That track would be devastating for Bermuda. If we see a track that's very close but still west of Bermuda, that would put the highest winds uh, right over the uh, islands of Bermuda. But most of the tracks are further west. So uh, I, I think that we're, we're Bermuda's in better shape. The farther west it is, the better off it's going to be. But that said, it's going to be a pretty massive storm. I mean, it could be a Category 3 uh, and then become a Category 4 as we get into Thursday morning. And then by the time we get to new, uh, midnight on Friday, so late Thursday night, it's going to be west of Bermuda as a Cat 4. Uh, winds could be 130, uh, 140 miles per hour. And then as it moves north and then turns back northeast and turns back to the north, uh, over toward Newfoundland, this is kind of crazy. Still a Cat 2, and that's a 10 o'clock Saturday night. That would be kind of devastating uh, to Newfoundland and St. John's because you would get, they would get the highest winds and actually a, a, a pretty good storm surge uh, considering. That's kind of unusual for Newfoundland. Okay, so we always talk about the uh, Saffir Simpson scale, you know, the category. So we've not had a Category 3 yet. Category 3, 111 to 129 miles per hour, and that means sustained. Cat 4 is 130 to 156, and then a Category 5 is 157 uh, and higher. So, again, uh, that's Hurricane Center thinks it could become a Cat 4 uh, Thursday, late Thursday night uh, into early Friday morning. We will see. Okay, hurricane names. We're all the way to Fiona, and again, Danielle was a Cat 1, Earl was a Cat 2, Fiona. Cat 3 and could become a Cat 4. So that's our first major hurricane uh, of the uh, season. And in terms of their forecast, I mean, forecast 14 to 20 named storms. Of those, 6 to 10 were to become hurricanes. And of those, 3 to 5 would, be, would become major. We're kind of running out of time <laughs> uh, for that. Uh, we'll see. We're in a busy part. Uh, but, you know, once we get out of September, not as many storms develop uh, in the month of October. It's still possible. You can get storms in November, for that matter. Okay, let's uh, talk about storms by month. Not much in June and July, 10% combined, and then 29% in August. Again, September is the big, big month, 36%. October, we have some. I mean, you know, more than June and July combined, 19% of all hurricanes develop uh, during the month of October. So uh, just a side note here, uh, looks like Fiona is going to stay on track. There's another disturbance behind Fiona. That's going to duck down to the south and go more over Cuba into the Gulf of Mexico. And we're going to be watching that for next week. And that could affect the U.S. along the Gulf Coast and maybe even affect us the weekend from next.